Hi, I'm here to show you how to do one of my favorite wrap styles recently. You might have seen recent photos where I was wearing these outfits and these scarves as wraps. The wrap style in both those photos was the same and so that's what I'm going to show you. I'm going to use this scarf because it's a pretty common scarf that a lot of people have, um, but I think this wrap style works with pretty much any rectangular scarf. And I'm going to put on my Wendy Shaper from Rapunzel.com to add a little oof to the wrap. And I just stuff my hair underneath it. Some people like to put their hair in a scrunchie, like in a bun in a scrunchie, or they braid it and pin it. I just like to stuff my hair under it and so it's kind of loose. It's more comfortable and just easy for me. Okay, so the shaper probably looks pretty big right now, but I really, when I tie the scarf on, I tie it, like I pull it quite tight and use the scarf to squish down the shaper. Um, to me, that gives like a more natural rounded look and it also feels more secure. So I have this scarf folded pretty much in half lengthwise because when you drape a scarf, if you have, you're going to have one edge, you know, close to your forehead and the other edge needs to be pretty much at the nape of your neck there um, where the shaper ends or where your hairline is. So if your scarf is quite wide and it's hanging all down your back and depending on if you have a shaper on or not, um, you're going to need to fold over a portion of your scarf and knowing how much is just going to be trial and error. I wear this scarf and this shaper all the time so I already know that approximately in half is how it needs to be. So this this look that um, I'm showing you, it had a V in the front and it has a knot on the side and a tail coming out of the knot. So to achieve that look, we need to start with one end of the scarf longer than the other. So these are pretty much equal. So I'm going to make them unequal. Let's see. Okay. Still need a little bit more difference there. Okay. So I have one long end and one short end. And... Uh, we also need to place the scarf at an angle. So this is the part where you kind of just need to think a little bit. Other than this, the wrap is super easy. I'm going to place the scarf at an angle like this. Okay, and so when we first tie it on, we're going to do something like that, and it's going to cover the shaper on one side and leave the shaper showing on the other. But what's important here is that the side of the scarf that's forward, that's the side that needs the long tail. And the side that's back, this is the short tail. Okay, so forward, long tail, back, short tail. Okay, and so I'll put these over my shoulders and maintain this angle here. Okay, and pull it tight, making sure the shaper is covered on this side. And this is where I'm squishing down the shaper a bit and tie a knot. So when you tie a knot, one end of the scarf comes up out of the knot and one end comes down. Okay, so for me, it's like this. And when you tie a knot, the ends of the scarf switch sides. So now I have the short end coming up out of the knot and the long end coming down out of the knot. That's how I like to have it with the long end coming down out of the knot. But this is just a really small um, finicky thing that I like to do. It really doesn't matter if it kind of is hard to visualize that because sometimes I'm like, whoa, what's even going on? So really any knot will do. Okay, and we'll take our long tail and spread it out a little bit. And I really like this fringe on this scarf. So usually I try to, because we're going to lift it up, I try to have that showing a bit so it makes a bit of a, a halo there. But sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So just spread it out a bit and we'll cover up the shaper with that. And this is going to create our angle in the front. And there we go. There it is. So you can spend some time, if you have time, kind of playing with those pleats. And I would probably do it again and try to make the fringe show a bit more. But, you know, the video can't last forever. So <laughs> we'll keep going. And there we go. All right. So hold this tail in one hand. And you take the bottom tail. It's coming. It's around the back. And you bring it around to the front. And hold it there. And put your hand through this hole, don't not underneath, but through the hole. Take hold of it and pull it up to create a knot. So you can control where that knot is on the side of your head. The tail is going to come out 
from the bottom of that knot. So if you have the knot higher up, the tail is gonna look more like it's coming from the side of your head. And if you have the knot lower down, which is how I like to do it, it's gonna look like, kind of like the tail is coming from back behind my ear. So I actually usually pull the knot quite low, right behind my ear there. And you're done. This is the wrap. You can kind of fluff this out a bit and yeah, just toss it over your shoulder. And I just think it's so easy and I think it's dramatic to have the two tails like that. And um, yeah, it's really fun. And, but sometimes um, these tails, sometimes that's just like a little too much drama or sometimes they end up being like completely different lengths and it looks kind of weird. So I might tuck away the top one. It's already coming up out the top of the knot. So we just sort of follow that trajectory, lift it up and over. And we created a bit of a pocket here when we lifted up this side. So I'm just gonna tuck it in there. Pixel, things like that. So if I was going out, I would spend more time, you know, with two mirrors, checking to see if any bits of the shaper, if the shaper's showing or any bits are sticking out. But like, that's it. It's that easy. Uh, I think this is a really flexible, fun wrap. It's worked with um, a lot of different scarves that I've used. So I hope you give it a try. I hope it works for you. If you have questions, just leave a comment. Thanks for watching.